I am going to show you how to make a crown out of a tin can and the finished product will look like where did I put it um, well, I'll show it to you in just a minute but um, we're going to take a tin can and make a really cool crown with it here is what the crown would look like when it's done and then if you wanted to you could put some embellishments on it like I did here otherwise it looks kind of cool just like this too so basically you're going to take a tin can clean it if it has paper on it take the paper off you already have one end open because you opened it obviously um, you got, you're going to need some shears for cutting the metal um, maybe some leather gloves if you tend to be accident prone um, a regular old can opener, a sharpie, and either a drill or a, a nail and hammer because we're going to be drilling a hole into the tin. So let's go ahead and take this part off. You probably want to save that for something. We have this all ready to go. I'm going to take my Sharpie and just roughly mark the center point. This isn't a really good Sharpie, but I kind of know where the center is so I can cut it in half. I'm going to take my drill and... Oh, this one's not working here. Let's see. Let's try this. That just kind of gives you a starting point to start the cut. And I might need to make it a little bit bigger. I probably could use a bigger bit, but that's what I had in there. I was being lazy. So basically you're going to cut it all the way through. It's kind of hard at first. There we go until you get going. If you have a saw at home and you're, you know how to use power tools, you have probably have a better method, but this is just using what I have. Okay, I'll open this up on this side. This is a really rough tin too. Sometimes they're not this hard to cut. Kind of like how um, <clears throat> there's this graphic on here. I I think I actually buy. Sometimes I buy tin or canned goods based on the picture on the cover. You know, like the olive tins that have olive oil in them. Excuse me, this is an olive tin. Go this way. As you can see, there's really sharp edges on there, so just be careful. Almost done. So you're going to have, you, you can make two crowns out of this. And what you want to do is um, you want to hammer the edges because obviously there's a bunch of sharp edges. You could go over it and just kind of trim some of the pieces that are kind of s sticking out. Be very, very careful. These are extremely sharp. So you're going to hammer this with a, a steel bench block and a um, either a plastic head mallet or a rawhide, rawhide mallet. Okay. 
and because it's circular you want to use some kind of an anvil so that you can put place the place this right here. I'm not going to hammer the whole thing because it's going to be shaking the the um, to the camera. But basically, you go around, hammer it, hammer it, hammer it, hammer it until all of the um, the edge is completely smooth. And if if you still have burrs on there, you can cut them off and then go over it with some light sandpaper, a file or um, some steel wool. And what it's gonna look like is this. I've already started cutting this one, but I've already um, <clears throat> smoothed this one out completely, so it's completely safe. Um, and then what you're gonna do to make the, the turrets on here is you're gonna divide it in four here, like across, and you take your Sharpie and just mark, I don't measure really any of it, but just kind of go, okay, this is the first mark, the second mark is going to be here. So you're going to make a cross, and then in between those four marks, you're going to mark four more in between those. So you'll get eight turrets on the crown. And then in between those um, lines here, like there's a line here and there's a line here, I'll make a dot at the bottom so that I know that I'm going to be cutting from from this line down to that dot and back up to this line up here. And um, again, you are going to have to go over this and hammer it uh, with a, 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 um, a plastic head mallet or a, um, a rawhide mallet just so you can make sure you can get any burrs that are on there as well. And basically, that's it. You'll have your crown once that's done. Just, you know, polish it up a little bit with some um, uh, double, actually it's quadruple zero um, steel wool, and you'll have a crown. Um, you can also, like I said in the original one, this one here, I, I added some um, pretty, a pretty banner here. I just soldered that on. It says junk. Queen. This is an old earring, and then these are just little beads that I put on the top that I soldered on the top. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.